and we're off. Do I do I get control of the boat? I do. Very nice. I don't I don't know why I would get control, but I do. <laughs> you would think Ferris would still be piloting it. Uh, I'll sailor to the wind shrine for you. Now you you pretty much have two options here. You can either say yes, which is what I'm going to be doing, or you can say no, and you can head over to the west where there is a town, the one that everybody was talking about before, uh, which is the town of Tool. I think it was T T U L E. Uh, either way, I'm just going to head uh, straight for, for the Wind Shrine. The only real purpose of you going to the village uh, this early is for uh, items, um, but really, I, I don't really need the items. So you guys go ahead and take care of it for me, uh, because I refuse to, to go this far on a ship unaided. And there we can see the Pantheon, I mean the Wind Shrine. So uh, let's go ahead and go inside. And here we can find what? What's all these people. Princess Reina. What on earth happened? The wind stopped suddenly. The monsters attacked the shrine. What? Monsters are in the shrine. Where's my father? <laughs> He's probably deep inside. Yeah, his highness went to the top floor, but hasn't returned yet. Something must have happened. What? Ah. <laughs> Let's go where the crystal be. That is... What? You want to... Ferris is... Right, yeah, I didn't expect that either. What the hell's going on? Yes, monsters monsters are everywhere, of course. Yes, that's what everybody just said. Crystal's controlled by a machine. And now the machine went haywire, of course it did. Of course it did. Please take these! And we received five extra tonics, which is probably why you don't need to go to town. Uh, drink this water to restore your energy. Yes, take care. And hooray! We've been completely healed. Hold on for one second. Now it is time to go through the dungeon. We are in the first dungeon of the game. But it's very basic. We'll just go up these stairs here. We're now on the second floor. We can head all the way over here. Grab ourselves a tent. Very nice. Are we going to get new enemies in this dungeon? We do. We get a white snake and a black goblin. And Ferris is fighting with us. Very, very nice. Look like she did have a sword on. I will check that after this fight. Yes, we get 45 gil and 10 experience. No level ups uh, just yet. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our new party member now that she has joined. I say she, sorry. That is definitely a guy. Uh, we are pretty much the same as everybody else, except Ferris does have 10% uh, 10, 10 evasion, and uh, he weighs a little bit more as well. In terms of equipment, Ferris does have the dirk and a leather shield, as well as some uh, leather armor. Very, very nice. Now let's move on. We need to head down here. And here we do come across a save point. This spot is protected by sacred powers. Use a tent or a cottage here or you can save your game here. Uh, that is pretty much the warning that there's going to be something on the other side. I don't really feel the need to right now. Uh, I'm going to head up here though over to the right and here we can get another leather cap which is going to be going on Reina. That does sound good for Reina, I think, right now. Not that it really matters at this point who it goes on, um, but, well, why not? Let's head over here, and we can head up these stairs to the third floor. And already I can see... I can see an enemy waiting for me. Do we have any more new enemies here? We do! 
Here we have a Maldwin along with the Black Goblin and the White Snake. <laughs> White Snake! Would definitely a reference that. That is an old, old band. I honestly can't even think of a name of one of their songs off the top of my head. I'm trying to, but it escapes me at the moment. It's been a while since I've heard that, heard that name. Uh, now, in this game, uh, when you target an enemy and uh, that enemy dies, uh, just like some of the, the later versions of the previous game, it will just uh, transfer that attack to, the, to a random enemy. Uh, you don't actually lose uh, the command like it happened in the original versions of the old games. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a nice little feature. Uh, it, it does help in the long term. You get 72 gills, 15 experience, Bard skins a level, fair skins a level. Very, very nice. So let us continue going forward. Unless we get into another fight. Are there going to be new enemies this time? There aren't. Just Maldwins. Alright, let's head into this door here. Which has nothing in it. Hooray! Nothing. Let's head past... Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a secret entrance, right? Or a secret passage right there. I didn't realize it was there. Could have saved me a little bit of time. But let's head up here. I could use the experience anyway. And we can grab ourselves a broadsword, which I am going to equip onto Gallif. He does need a weapon, of course. Now, as you can see, I'm a little bit low on health. So, before we take on the enemy here, I am going to heal up. All right, let's head forward and take on whatever this is. In incoming! We've got a... I don't know, it kind of looks like a bird, but it looks like it's got four legs, so like a chimera. No, it's just got two. It is the Wing Raptor. We are up against even though Raptor is usually spelled with an O. I will let you slide with this one game. I'll let you slide. Now this is another fight where all you're pretty much doing is smashing X. That You know, X will take you to victory here. Um, this is the first boss in the game, obviously, uh, and to be honest, he's not very tough at all, and there is a reason for that, a reason that we will be going into a little bit later. Oh, attack when my wings close, and you'll be clawed! Oh no! Who's in talons for 21 damage, alright, so let's wait for the that to, uh to go away so we can start attacking him again because it's not like we were doing any damage on him anyway. Uh, if you are struggling, this would be the point when you would heal. Um, do I really have to defend? Fine, I'll defend everybody. Does that move the battle forward? It does! And now he goes for air wing! Oh, damn, that did a lot of damage! I'm not going to heal, though. Uh, I've did use four of my tonics before this fight, and down he goes! Yes! And for that fight, you don't get anything, it looks like. You don't get any experience. You don't get anything. Mash X to victory. But you do get a Phoenix down! Hooray! That is our first, uh, after battle item. Uh, that, of course, does, uh, bring everybody, uh, back to life. Well, just one person at a time, but still still. Very nice item. Really? More random encounters? Against new enemies, we do have money mages here. I didn't think there were any more new enemies on this, well, and any of the upper floors, but I was wrong. Stop hitting people with your long staff, money mages. You better drop a lot of money for being called money mages. Is that going to be enough for the victory? It is! Down go the money mages. Yes! 90 gil! 15 experience! No level ups. I was kind of expecting one, to be honest with you. 15 experience is quite a bit. Quite a bit. Now, if we head down here... Like I said, if we head down here, you can see a treasure chest off in the distance, but you can get there through a secret passage, and there we can receive the staff. Now, the staff is actually more powerful than the knife, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that on Reyna. 
And as you can see, it went from 7 to 9. I'm going to risk not healing anybody, and I am going to head forward. Let's go in here. And here we have found the wind crystal room. The crystal's broken. No! We saw it explode a while ago. You guys are just catching up. Dramatic irony. What the? What? Is that a tycoon? It's another crystal. The other crystal is... Oh, it sends something to Ferris. Courage, the essence of fire. So that was the fire crystal. And then this looks like uh, possibly the water crystal. Could be the earth crystal though. I'm not sure if that's grass or what's going on. Probably water though. Yeah, water. Kindness, the essence of water. I've never known water to be kind, but okay, sure. We'll go with kind. And then yellow, that's probably the earth crystal that's sending out. Who knows what it's sending out? A shiny, that's what it's sending out. Hope, the essence of earth. Hope? Really? And then here comes the wind. So there are four crystals in this game. Quest, the essence of wind. Quest is an essence? Okay, whatever. I'm done making fun of it. What are these? Aye, what be they? They feel warm. Crystal essences? Essences? Yeah, what is going on with that? Raina. Is that, is that King Ky Tycoon? Father! Ferris seems to want to pay attention to this. Hear me. You are the four chosen warriors, the keepers of the four essences. Father, what does it all mean? The wind crystal is shattered and the other three are at great risk. Go and protect them. The very essence of evil is trying to return. If it does, it will turn all to darkness. Father! And then he died. And now you four go forth and defend the remaining crystals. Father! No! Why'd you have to float off? Oh, the like crystal shards are heading our way. What are these? Like I said, they're crystal shards. Uh, they're they're surrounding us. This can't be good, or can it? Crystal shards containing the power of ancient warriors: knight, monk, blue mage, thief, black mage, white mage. And we have received job classes. The crystals are giving us their power. We'd better go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Reyna. There's a warp point behind that altar. Alright, so let's head to the warp point. I would go over uh, job classes, but I'm pretty sure the game is going to give me a tutorial on it pretty, pretty soon here. Where does this warp us to? It warps us to the tutorial, exactly. How you doing, Boko? Y that is Boko, isn't it? Need an explanation on the crystal shards and the ability and job systems. I don't, but in case you do, let's go ahead and watch this. Receive the essence of crystal shard, you gain a new job. Like I, like I had said, that all, um, all six jobs. We only have four people, unfortunately. So he could become a black mage. I think that was. When a job is finished properly, you gain the various skills it offers. These are called abilities. So yes, we have the bear. Technically, it's the freelancer cl class that everybody was. 
We'll go over what all these abilities are later. As you can see, there were multiple different job classes abilities there. You had black and white. When you select job or ability, all equipped items are removed, but don't worry, you are automatically fitted with the strongest items. That is because each job class can only equip a certain amount of items. Um, yeah, just op optimum just works out so much better in this game, optimizing, because you are switching so often. When jobs and abilities are carefully combined, the result can be a black mage that can jump, or a knight that can use white magic, a paladin. Just for practice, let's create a knight that can use white magic. Blasphemy! First, select white mage from the job list. I'm not, I'm not doing any of this, by the way. It's all being done for me. Uh, as you can see, there's a limit to what they can equip. You saw that little equip on the bottom there. Next, use the white mage and bow to collect ability points, which we haven't been collecting because we don't have job classes. Gradually, the white mage will learn white magic. Now select knight from the job list. When the ability window appears, select white magic and fully equip the knight, and your knight will be able to use white magic. In case you aren't sure about this, I'll go over it a little bit later. Alright, so now they're saying that he learned uh, some abilities as a white uh, white mage, so now uh, when he switches to tonight he can use the white magic as one of the abilities because once you learn it it stays learned it doesn't matter what job class you are uh, what you have learned as a job class stays with you and that is very very nice i think a huge improvement uh from final fantasy 3 but that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of let's play final fantasy 5 I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Bart, Reyna, Gallif, and Ferris. When we come back, we'll have job classes. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.